He's crying. <gasps> Who's there? I'm sorry, I just wanted to say hello. You seem sad. Sad? You mean me? She says I seem sad. Ha ha ha. What's so funny? I thought he was crying just a second ago. There's a party inside. Are you out for a walk? I don't really like parties that much. I bet nobody would dance with you, Freckles. That isn't true. Don't get mad. It makes your freckles more prominent. It's a pity. Why you have so many freckles? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, but honestly, I love my freckles and have been thinking of uh, ways to get more of them. And you don't have one, not one freckle. I pity you. Will you defend your nose, too? Of course. Miss Candy, is that you? Well, Happy New Year, freckles. There you are. The haze is so thick. If you're not careful, you may go overboard. Uh, George, who is that? Mr. Granchester? I was not aware you knew him. I, I don't. So his name is Granchester? Yeah, he's from a noble English family. A noble family? What about him, Miss Candy? Um, I just thought that he looks like Anthony. Like Mr. Anthony? But he's nothing like him. Anthony is much more... was so much better. Would you like to return inside? Perhaps to the party? I'd like to go back to my room. Drink some hot tea. Please don't get yourself sick. Archie and Steer would be very disappointed. Okay. Now if you'll excuse me, good night. I have so many questions to ask you, George. Where does Uncle William live? Is he like Madame Elroy? Or is he even more strict and fearsome? George! Is something wrong? Where do you plan to go once the ship docks? Why, back to Mr. William's place. Where does he live? All over. He's a very busy man. He changed my life, you know. But I know nothing about him. He never answers any of my many letters. I know how you feel. He only responds to urgent matters. If he thinks it is important to see you, he will make the time. Just wait for that time and it will come. Miss Candy, please don't concern yourself with such things. George. Just focus on your education. Soon you'll grow up and be a fine young lady. That will make Mr. William very proud. A lady? If I become a nice lady, will he want to meet me then? So long, freckles. <laughs> Granchester, how stupid of me to think he looked like Anthony. He looks nothing like Anthony. When Candy asks me so sincere and earnest, it is hard to deal with. I might have told her the truth. If she could just let up and let Anthony go. He was still so young. George, look at all these people. How will I find Steer and Archie? Don't you worry. We won't have to search. They'll come find us. Daddy, Daddy, right here. Hey, Candy, over here. There they are. They haven't changed at all. They came. I'm so glad. There, Archie. Candy, it's been too long. I'm so excited to see you again. You two haven't changed at all. Neither have you, Candy. Hey, I brought the puppet with me, Steer. Bloody da does it work? Let's celebrate Candy's arrival to England. What was that? It's a confetti gun. Just watch. Uh, oops. Uh, what a pity. Is there uh, something wrong with it? It's supposed to work. Maybe it's just too windy today. Uh, yeah, probably. That's it. Don't encourage its crazy inventions. He sure had a lot to say to me earlier. Now he acts like he doesn't remember me. The car is ready. Let's get inside now. We must go to St. Paul now. Could we at least have a cup of tea somewhere? You can do that at the college. Right, you mean the prison. I'll go crazy if I stay there much longer. But we've been granted special permission. Let's not waste it. Waste what? We're normally only allowed to leave campus for 30 minutes. They have super strict policies. Why worry about the rules, Archie? At the orphanage, I, I never follow the rules. Like, ever. It worked! Mr. Cornwell. I'm sorry. See, Archie? I told you it works. Humidity causes the jam. Wanna try it yourself, Candy? Um, so, George, uh, have uh, Eliza and uh, Neil arrived yet? Eliza and Neil? They have. They should be on campus by now. They're at St. Paul, too. I'm fully in different classes. I thought they'd be at a different boarding school. Be brave, Candy. The torture continues here in London. Miss Candy, to your right is the Big Ben. It's marvelous. There goes Trafalgar Square and the Piccadilly Circus. George is taking a detour to show you the city. Welcome to prison, Candy. 
You must be Miss White Ardley. Mother Superior is expecting you. It reminds me of the Ardley estate in Lakewood. The mansion must be abandoned now. Only the trees remain. I hope Mr. Albert returns, so that Anthony won't be alone. This is just like the Ardley mansion corridor. Silence. Speaking is forbidden here. I'm sorry. It's worse than they said it would be. Here we are. This is Sister Gray's chamber. Welcome, Miss Ardley. I'm Mother Gray. Mother? You mean Father Gray. She looks like a man. Will the gentleman leave the room? I am in charge of Candy's welfare, and these young men are her cousins. They're gonna separate us now. I will have a word with her alone. St. Paul's Academy is a prestigious boarding school. Miss Candy will get the best education. As for her so-called cousins, they are not allowed to commingle whilst on school premises. We separate the boys and girls. The boys' disciplinarian is bad, but she's even worse. Jeez. I must leave now. Do take care of yourself, Miss Candy. I will. Thank you, George. Each student must strive to make the school proud. You will learn discipline. You must uphold St. Paul's honor. Lessons are difficult here. We expect nothing less than excellence. This is not what I expected. I barely got a chance to speak to Sierra and Archie freely, let alone say goodbye to George. Will it always be like this? This is the suite you'll be occupying. My own suite? Thanks, Uncle William. You must belong to a very caring family. I'm in charge of the residence. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, sister. <sighs> Mother Gray's been talking for two hours. Come in. Hi, I'm Patty O'Brien, and my room is just next door. Candace White Ardley. Call me Candy. Nice to meet you. I was wondering who'd occupy this lovely room. So, can you show me to the boys' dorm? Candy, no. That's against regulations. My cousins are there. The boys' dorm is right over there, but if you get caught by the sisters, you're done for. Yeah, I still want to go. We can't see them outside class. I'll give you a tour of the premises. I'll go by tree. Okay, Patty, let's go. Just so you know, if you're caught in the boys' residence, you'll be punished publicly at Sunday Mass. Some have even been hit with a cane. Can you imagine? In front of everybody. If that ever happens, you'll also be expelled. You're right. I must be very careful. I like you, Candy. I've never met anybody like you. So do I. I like you too. This is the library. And that's the great chamber. Eliza. <gasps> Candy. Ha! Huh. So you two know each other? Then I should have had you introduce us. I went to the special room to meet her. Special? Candy was given a special room? You live in that room? How wonderful! Don't go near that girl. She lived in a poor orphanage. And she was our maid. She used to take care of our horses. Oh, wow. Ew, I hate stable girls. And I don't know whom she tricked into becoming an Ardley. If it weren't for you, Anthony would still be alive. Let's go, Patty. <laughs> don't make friends with a girl like her. She's not worth your time. Are all girls raised in rich families like that? Always talking about image and status while forgetting what really matters. What do you think, Miss Candy? I think it's absurd to judge a person by how rich they are. Is that the most important thing? Candy, always remember to look at people's hearts. It's where you find courage, tenderness, and kindness. Miss Pony, Sister Lane, come in. I forgot to tell you. Mother Gray said to wear the gray uniform to tomorrow's mass. Thanks, Patty. Please come in. I'm sorry, Candy. I have to go. It looks like Patty and I will be close. Once you hear the bell, you must get up and get ready for church. Oh no, everybody's already left. Why is everybody wearing black? <gasps> Eliza, Neil. I heard that she came from an orphanage. How did she become an Ardley? Who does she think she is? I didn't sign up to study with an illiterate. Look, she's wearing the wrong uniform. Candy, why didn't you wear the other uniform? We have to wear the black uniform in Mass. Uh, I'll go change now. Back to church. It's time for Mass. Miss Ardley, the grey uniform is only to be worn in class. Forgive me, Mother. I won't do it again. Good. Now do sit down. Now let us pray. Terence Granchester. <gasps> Granchester? Mr. Granchester. Better late than never. Now sit down. What's so funny? Nothing. Except for watching you all pray, well behaved and properly dressed, but you can't tell 
if they actually believe in God. Get out now. Lord, forgive him. I'm going. Don't worry. I know the way. I've never prayed a single day in my life. Terence, wait. Let me guess. You want me in your office? See you there. My fellow students, pray hard, okay? Who was that? He's of noble descent. He? A nobleman? He breaks the rules on purpose. He made us look like fools. Terence Granchester, intentionally provoking Sister Grey's anger. Why would he do that? Silence. Pay no attention to worthless matters. It is obvious that you are lacking in discipline. Therefore, we will extend praying time. Ugh. Fifteen minutes and then it's back to class. So uncomfortable. Ugh, Eliza and her game. He's the number one delinquent. He smokes and drinks. He gets good grades, although he never attends class. He's antisocial, but oh so cute. What's so interesting about this Terence anyway? Because of him, we had to stay in church longer. To think I met him on the ship and now we're studying at the same school together? He looked so much like Anthony that day. He was weeping. He was so different today. Oi, Terry. Where are you? The principal wants to see you. Terry, hurry up. She's very angry. What? He doesn't remember me? He was so mean to me on the ship. He made a fool of me, calling me Freckles. Here she is. Hey, we've been looking for you. I'm hiding from Eliza. She's still exactly the same and always will be. She's one of God's failed inventions. Yeah, like most of yours. Archie, shut up. By the way, Candy, I had a great idea. Define great. Only I could have come up with this idea. I'd love to show it to you, Candy. I'm sure it's wonderful. It's been a while. We really need to catch up. So tonight, I'll sneak into your room. What? How? You know the rules, Candy. I'll climb the trees. Are you sure? Great idea. Isn't it? We'll be waiting. Be careful. We'll signal you with a lamp. But please, Candy, don't go to the wrong room. There's a weirdo in the room next to ours. A weirdo? That so-called Terry who caused the scene in church today. He had a fight with Archie this morning. What about? I forgot something in my room and went back to get it, but I accidentally opened the wrong door through which he was exiting. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Don't go near my room. I made a mistake, okay? I, besides, I already said I was sorry. Hey, we're not finished. Hold on. <laughs> Don't bother. He's always like that. Nobody knows what his deal is. If he'd left a scar, I'd never forgive him. I do not like that guy. Me neither. Do you know him too? So Terry lives in the boys' dorm suite, right? Yeah, and he has a castle outside London. A castle? If I were him, I'd commute. Yeah, his own family probably hates him. Back to class. All right then, see you tonight, Candy. You'll see my invention too. Better hurry up or I'll be late for class. Just in time. Uh, maybe not. Sorry. Miss Ardley, you must be seated before the last bell rings. Do you understand? That's not the attitude expected from a lady. I'll be more punctual, sister. You have leaves stuck to your skirt. Oops, thanks, Patty. A tough habit to break, laying on the ground like a horse. Ew, she's nasty. I'm just grateful to enjoy the beauty of nature. Candice Ardley, enough chatter. Now, Candy, recite the homework assignment that's due today. Um, well, I, uh, I don't recall any homework. Speak up, Miss Ardley. I don't recall having any homework. Oh, you don't recall? The notes were distributed yesterday. Do you recall that? What notes? Sister, I did not receive any notes, so I cannot recite them. Louise, you gave Candy a copy of the notes, correct? Yes, sister. I distributed a copy to everyone. As usual, I'm caught in a trap. Candy, step up to the blackboard. <laughs> Write this till class ends. How dare you? I'm not a liar and everyone here knows it. I swear to God. Such audacity. Surely it's due to her breeding. Or lack thereof. I knew she couldn't read. All right, fine. I believe you. I'll give you copies of the notes. Come get them in my office. Now go back to your seat. Yes, sister. Have these memorized by the start of class tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. I never had a student like her. I hate this French poetry. I'll go to Steer's place and ask for some help. Uh, what the? 
What's your problem? You could have really hurt me. Neil. Long time no see. I didn't think I'd see you here. Neither did I. It's an unpleasant surprise. How dare you? Are you any stronger than you were before? Dirty orphan. A dirty orphan who defeated you. What, me? Liar. Being an orphan, you don't have a right to study here. You used to work at the stable. At the stable. Not a bad looking mare. Always dreamed of riding a horse. Now neigh like a horse. Get on all fours, horsey. Hold it down so I can mount her. Let me go. <laughs> Bunch of cretins. <laughs> Leave the school, you dirty orphan. So what if she's an orphan, you snotty bastards? Say that again, I dare you to. Harry. <laughs> Say it again, you coward. Help me, I can't breathe. Let's get out of here. Ow! <laughs> you think she chose to be an orphan? It's not her fault. Don't you think it's unfair to blame her for not having parents? Am I understood? <laughs> now get out of my sight. <laughs> violently defended them. He protected them. Uh, hang on, wait! What's up? Thank you. I, uh... No need to thank me. I didn't do it for you. I just hate people like that. That's all. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you like me, Freckles? He remembers me from the ship. Come on. Let's go over there when nobody's around. No, are you sick in the head? I don't want to be with a freckle-faced girl either. Bye. And to think I was sincere in thinking him. <laughs> My name is not Freckles. My name is Candy's White Ardley. Don't call me Freckles! Candice White Ardley. I prefer Freckles. Hey, girl. Your father has asked us to care for you. But your attitude is often indefensible. Count Grantchester, a perfect gentleman. Giddy up. They won't expel me because I'm a Grantchester. I wish they would. Please expel me. Such a jerk. To think I was feeling sympathy for him. Why is a boy like him even studying at this institution? I've never seen Neil so scared. Terry, you look like Anthony, but you behave so differently. There's no one quite like you, Anthony. No one at all. And where could my prince be? I'm so very far away from home. A letter from Patty. Candy, I'm so sorry for today. The uniform, the homework. I'm unlike you, who is so brave, Patricia. Patty, I'm sure we'll be very close. There it is, the signal. Here I go. Hey, Archie, here I come. Careful, Candy. Okay. Are you hurt, Candy? You scared me. Can't you be more careful? Nope. Next time, hook me up with some cushions. And steer? Up there. Steer? Behold my new invention. I'm like a spider. Steer? I'm the first man to walk on the ceiling. This is so, um, mortifying. Yes, that's it. I'm right above the bed. It may need improvement. What do you say, Candy? Win or fail? Archie says fail. I say wonderfully unique like you. Being with him is so great. Reminds me of our days in Lakewood. If only Anthony were here. His memory is in Steve's heart. Archie remembers him too. Always on his mind. But his name is never spoken. You want some chocolate? Where did you get those? That's classified information. We're not even allowed to eat sweets. This place is truly hell. Yeah. If they find you here, you'll be put in a cell. In a cell? It's deep in the woods, so be careful. Don't you worry about me. We've had so many issues since we got here. But it's not all bad news. What do you mean? For example, Annie Brighton. Annie. Steer. Annie? What about her? She's coming here. Oh, Mom, please let me study at St. Paul's. Mom, did you know Archie studies there? Shut up or I will shut you up. Annie's coming here. She's got serious feelings for you to follow you all the way here. She does not. I've nothing to do with it. Her father goes horseback riding with the Ardleys. The Ardleys? 
I think you met her once at the Lagans. Tell me, Archie, does she know that I study here too? I don't think so. Why? Just asking. Annie, I really want to see you. Perhaps you'd like to see me too. What will she do when she finds out that I'm an art? It's inspection. What? Inspection? The sisters go around sometimes. Didn't think it'd be tonight. Candy, hide under the bed now. He's here. I don't, I don't fit. Superior. Alistair, Archibald Cornwell, why are you still up at this hour? Go to bed immediately. Y yes, yes, mother. It's past curfew. Turn off the lights. We were comparing the English one to the American one. In that case, remember rules are to be respected. It, it won't happen again. We'll be good. Good night, gentlemen. <sighs> I hope Candy arrived okay. Thankfully the girls' dorm wasn't checked. They must have made these work. It was scary, but also such a thrill. No, oh, I forgot. I must memorize this by tomorrow. Now it's too late to ask Archie and Steer for help. I have to learn it myself. Annie's coming here. Candy, I don't want to leave you. I'll never forget you, Candy. I don't want my friends to know that I'm an orphan. Goodbye, Candy. That was the day I met the prince on the hill. But I still love you, Annie. I'm sure deep down you love me too. I want to see you again so badly. I still have the lace ribbon you left for me at the stables. I must focus on the present. Think only about this poem. Learn the poem. <sighs> hmm? I fell asleep, but I studied a lot. I got this. I'm happy. Good morning, birdies. If you happen to fly to the States, please tell Miss Pony and Sister Lane that I am great. I hope my recitation goes well. I'm sure it will. It's him, Terry. When I first saw him, he looked just like Anthony, but he was so sad. Terry, what's hidden behind that sadness? Good morning. Hey, guys. This place isn't that bad after all. I'm so sleepy, but I have to <gasps> stay awake to recite that poem. Did you study last night? You seem super confident. I did, and just so you know, I'm looking forward to it. Then let's make a bet. If you make a single mistake during your recitation, you'll have to do what we say. Great idea. We die you to bet on it. Okay, I accept. But if I win, you have to do whatever I demand. I won't make a one-sided bet. Okay then, it's a bet. Don't worry, Louise. She'll lose. See you in class. <laughs> Candy, are you really that confident? Yeah, I stayed up all night studying. Don't you worry, Patty. Good luck, Candy. Thank you but I can't make even a single mistake. Stupid French poem, I have to review during lunch break. Hey, are you going to the lab? Yeah, where's Steer? Already there, inventing something to connect our rooms together. Nice, but first I'm going to Fake Ponies Hill. Huh? It's the hill behind St. Paul's. <laughs> Later. Fake Ponies Hill. Oh, Candy, you're always the same. Cool, I like it here. I can't see the school, which is nice. Okay, it's time to review, huh? What, what? Fire! I need some water! Water? What seems to be the problem, Tarzan? Who are you calling Tarzan? <coughs> Ew! You smoke cigarettes here? You don't have to yell so loudly. Do you want one? Are you crazy? Stop making faces. It makes your freckles redder. They move when you move your nose. <laughs> Stop calling me freckles, jerk. Okay then, if you prefer, I'll call you Miss Tarzan. Why Miss Tarzan? What's that about? I saw a monkey swinging between branches on a rope last night. <gasps> he saw me sneaking into Steer and Archie's dorm room. Freckles, Tarzan, or perhaps Miss Tarzan Freckles? Doesn't my spring to it? What's that? Your name. My name is Candace White Ardley. I do not respond to any other names. You got that? Candace White Ardley. It's all very clear to me now, Freckles. <laughs> The bell rang. Don't you have classes? Crap. I haven't reviewed the poem. If I mess up, it'll be your fault. Ooh, you are so annoying. Bear in mind, I am Candy. My name is Candy. And by the way, this is my hill. My fake pony's hill. Do not trespass on my little forest. Don't forget to study hard. I won't. She dares tell me what to do. Fake little pony's hill. Do you know how long I've been at this school, Candy? 
I must be seated before the last bell rings or I'll be counted late again. Sweet, just in time. This will be your classroom, dear. Quiet down. I am only late because we've a new student. I'm Annie Brighton from the United States. Did you know you have two American classmates? Eliza Lagan and Candy Ardley. Please stand. Candy, Annie, you're the girl the Ardleys adopted. So you're the girl of whom my mother often speaks, the one living with Archie. Annie, I did not expect to see you again so soon. Look after her, you too. Yes, yes sister. There is a seat next to Candy. Annie, go sit by her side. Please, sister, may I sit next to Eliza? I already know her. Annie, she's ignoring me. She isn't happy to see me again. But Eliza has a partner. Sister, may I sit next to Candy? We'll do our best to introduce Annie to St. Paul's traditions. What's wrong, Candy? It's nothing, Patty. Thanks for sitting next to me. My pleasure. Okay. So we're running a little late today. Candy, you're up. Yes, sister. Stay calm, Candy. Louis Rabet's poem. Si nous vivons, c'est pour les seigneurs. Que nous vivons, et si nous mourons, c'est pour les seigneurs. Que nous mourons, ainsi soit que nous vivons. Her voice is trembling. She's such a peasant. <laughs> Candy. I'm so sorry I didn't sit next to you, Candy. I was afraid I was going to talk to you inadvertently. I'd never imagine I'd encounter you here, and that you'd be an Ardley. Very well, Candy. But your accent needs improvement. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Come fulfill your promise, Eliza. The bed is off. Do you hear yourself? Your accent is like that of a peasant. You call that French? Disgusting. It must be due to her pony's horror education. But soft then, as you wish. I'd love to hear your delicate and wonderful French accent. And it's pony's home, not pony's horror. It's way out in the country, but it's marvelous. Candy, we're looking for you. Aunt Elroy sent all of us gifts that Annie brought. Come with me. Even for me? You're the only real Ardley here. Me and Archie are Cornwells, and Neil and Eliza are Lagans. Archie's already with Annie. We got permission to use the guest hall. Come on in, Candy. We've been expecting you. Annie, this is Candy. She's heard all about you from me, Candy. From the stable, remember? We're in the same class. Hello, Annie. Call me Candy. <gasps> nice to meet you. And you're so afraid, aren't you? Now let's see Aunt Elroy's presents, shall we, Annie? For Steer and Archie, Neil and Eliza. Is that all? What about for Candy? I, I don't know. That's all she gave me. <laughs> Just because her name is Ardley doesn't mean she's actually part of the family. Aunt Elroy will never accept her. You know full well that Uncle William has himself... Archie, don't, don't worry. Open your gifts. It's okay. I'll give you half of my gift. Me too. Let's see what we have. A telescope. Uh, I can't split it. Pajamas? Neither can I. I want my half as you promised. Here's what we'll do. Do you prefer the ocular or the objective side? I'll give you the sleeves. You'll make use of them. Okay. Better give you the whole thing. I hope it's not too big. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Archie and Candy seem very close. Oh yeah, Archie is very interested in Candy. They spend a lot of time together. Oh no. Gotta go now. Bye. Those who never open gifts in front of others, they are truly selfish. I must go back to my room. I'm not feeling well. She must be tired from the journey. Go with her. Oh, okay. I thought Annie and I could talk openly again. But I feel that may not be possible. Are you okay, Annie? A, a little better. He's in love with her. But, but, Archie, wait. Could you walk a bit slower? I'm sorry, Annie. Would you like to see the nurse? Uh, no, no thanks. I'll be okay. Take my arm. I don't want you to fall over. Archie, I love you so much. Tell me you're not in love with Candy. But only because you're not feeling well. The rules about touching are strict. My, my mom said this is the best school for becoming a good wife. You don't have to come here to be a good wife. Archie. Annie, I have a favor to ask you. 
I would love it if you and Candy became friends. She came from an orphanage, but she's never been ashamed of it. She's sharp and oh so kind. But Neil and Eliza are always mean to her. I'd love it if you were nice to her, okay? Annie, something wrong? I'm, I'm just very tired, Archie. I'm sorry. Archie, I love you so much, but you're so blind to my feelings. She's sharp and oh so kind. Archie, I cannot, I cannot be her friend. Candy, always vivacious, charming, and everybody loves you. Such a long day, and so many events. But I can't sleep tonight. Annie's in love with Archie. I realized it the day. She followed him to St. Paul's. They'd make a perfect couple. I only want Annie to be happy. This is Tarzan Freckles' dorm room. That man made a mistake. Blood? Good God, Terry, you're covered in blood. What happened to you? It's nothing. You should see the other guys. <laughs> there were many of them. It's a good thing this man helped me. What a nice guy. He brought me here. You've been drinking. You smell that? <sighs> Cut that out. Since when do you break the regulations, you rascal? Is this a knife wound? Yeah. Why would he do this? He has everything. He's looking It hurts. Please be gentle. I know what I'm doing. You're getting back at me, Freckles. That's Miss Tarzan Freckles to you, mister. Uh, uh, I mean... You have an excellent memory, I see. <laughs> I need to rest. The guy mistook this for the boys' dorm. I'm sorry for any trouble I may have put you through. Shh, just take it easy. He's burning up. He may have a fever. I can't leave him like this. I have to get him something. The infirmary's closed. I need iodine and aspirin. You know, I have an idea. I'll go to an outside pharmacy. Don't do a stupid thing like that. I must. I can't leave you like this. You're lucky I ain't the kind of girl that faints upon seeing blood. Get some rest. I'll be right back. Candy, wait. Always meddling. <laughs> this fence is tall. Here I go. No one around? <laughs> Free at last! All the shops are closed, except for the pubs. I wonder if Terry was drinking at the pub when he got stabbed. I may not find an open pharmacy. There, miss. You wouldn't happen to be Candy. I don't know anyone in London. Stop saying my name. Wow, it really is you, Candy. Did you already forget me, Candy? Albert. No beard, but that voice. That smile. It's you. Mr. Albert. It's been a while. Am I dreaming, or is it really you? I had no idea you were in London, too. But here you are. Don't cry. Smile, Candy. You've become a pretty lady. So have you. I'm a pretty lady, too. <laughs> <laughs> The beard is gone. You look so old with it. I'm only 25, you know. I had to shave my beard for a job interview. Where at? I got a job at the zoo. You work at the zoo? Yeah, it's in town, here in London. I really like working there, and Poppy is there with me. How lovely. Who'd have thought that we'd meet here? In London, not in Lakewood. I came out to buy some medicine for a friend. The meds, I nearly forgot about that. My friend's wounded. Where can I get meds? Wounded? One of many, it seems. How bad is the wound? Pretty bad. I have to return quickly. I know a place that's open late. Let's go. I fell asleep. I'm no longer bleeding. Miss Tarzan Freckles bound it tightly. She's a little nurse. I've got to walk it off. This will do. I'll borrow this rope. Thank you, and goodbye, Candy. Terry? Huh? That fool! I hate him! I risked my neck going to the pharmacy for him. He could have at least thanked me. And I didn't even get to spend more time with Mr. Albert. He should die devoured by beasts. Jerk!
Well, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't have met up with Mr. Albert again. And if he left, it means he can walk. Albert. The first time we met, I was so afraid of him. That beard, those shades. But he's so much more gentle than he looks. Strange, but gentle. I'm free like the wind. Always surrounded by animals. Soon after your friend died, I had to leave Lakewood. I was discovered by one of the guards, and I had to escape. I'm sorry I couldn't say goodbye. Even so, I knew we'd meet again. My animals were captured and brought here, so I followed them here to the zoo. Come visit me. We'll have fun. Mr. Albert without a beard. I will, as soon as I can. I wonder where Terry is. Nobody seems to know he got hurt. It's not like I can go check on him in his room. Annie, are you enrolled in the horseback riding class? I'm not very athletic. Come on, join us in the sports club. You ought to try. Come on, I could sign you up. You know you want to, but... Eliza knows that Annie isn't a jock. She's just being a bully. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> That's the sound my teeth make when I'm pissed. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Patty, would you like to practice archery with us after class? I would, uh, but uh, I see how it is. You'd rather hang out with this poor chick than spend time with us. Are you referring to me as poor, Louise? Of course, who else? Better to be poor than a selfish, spoiled, rich bitch. Don't you think? Leave me alone! Patty, listen. As long as you hang out with me, everybody will give you hell. I don't care. You know, Candy, next time I want to show you my secret treasure. You have a secret? What is it? It's a surprise. I've never shown it to anybody. You'll see. Hmm? The coast is clear. No one's here. Hurry in. I got your message from Archie. So you made a new invention, huh? Let's see it. So you read it? Yeah, it was in the garden by my room. I can't wait for spring. The season of flowers. It's almost here. The whole school is excited for spring to come. Should I ask him about Terry? It's been ten days. Oh, sorry I'm late. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Annie found me and we had a little, uh... We understand. It's not funny, Steer. I don't want Candy to misconstrue my relationship to Annie. Why would you worry about Candy's opinion? Huh? Steer! I haven't misconstrued it. Looking at your face, I'm not so sure. Well, this is my new invention. It's a messenger ship. What's a messenger ship? Press the button and find out. Oh, it flies! Just place a message inside and it will fly it from room to room. Steer, you are a genius! Candy, did you hear about the bell that was to connect our rooms? Shut up, Archie! But instead he invented an alarm. The alarm was so loud that all the sisters scuttled outside and we barely had time to hide from them. Okay, I admit that was a failure. Don't worry about it, Steer. Failure is the father of success. You mean the basis of success. Keep it down or our dear neighbor the Count may hear us. The Count? Oh yeah, by the way, have you seen Terry? What happened to him? He was limping this morning. He probably went back to his castle. I'm happy he's doing better. The controller will be ready tonight. Wanna come get it? Yes, of course. Unless there's an inspection. The trees are starting to bloom. Just like at Pony's Hill. Can't wait for dinner. I'm so hungry. <sighs> the girl lying on her back. What a lovely sight. Terry. I'm glad to see you're better. Why, we worried about me. I'm fine, Miss Freckles. How many times can I tell you my name is Candy to think I risk going out to get you help? So you're a criminal, going out without permission. Naughty, naughty. Quit mocking me. You are something. I did that for you, you selfish. I don't need your help. I don't need anybody. What the? He's so mean, so different than before. In that case, I have nothing left to say to you. That's the last favor I'll do for you. Nice knowing you. What a moron. Why is he so stubborn? Mm. For this meal and your mercy, we thank the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now I see his face everywhere. He hit Archie just for accidentally opening his door. What's wrong with him? He's such a weirdo. I'll never do anything for him again. Ever. Amen. Candy's on her way. I can see her. Get the pillows. She's about to land. The mattress might be softer for her. I'll make less noise, too. Great idea. 
Uh, what happened to the lights? I believe it's here. Oh no, I'm in the wrong room! Helen Baker, famous actress on Broadway. What the hell? To my beloved son Terrence, Eleanor Baker. To my son Terrence? My son? Terry! Terry. He's the son of the famous American actress. His eyes, they're looking through me. You're not angry with me, are you? You're in so much pain. I, uh... Never speak of this to anyone. Do you understand? I won't. I, I would never. Or I will ruin you. I will destroy you. Am I understood? Now get lost. Terry. Forgive me, Terry. I promise I won't tell anyone. Candy. Candy. Coming. Why didn't you land on the mattress? We're worried about you. We thought you'd come through our balcony. You went to Terry's? I was so worried. I dropped this. Did Terry see you? No, he wasn't there. You're lucky. Had he seen you, you'd be put in the isolation cell. He's not a tattletale. He's actually pretty cool, Archie. How do you know, Candy? Besides, who cares? Candy's here. That's what matters. But the controller is broken, so tomorrow... Oh no, it's Eleanor Baker. Oops, uh, must have fallen from under the mattress. Under the mattress? We hid them to evade punishment during inspection. Check out our stash of pigs. And we have more. Sure do. I didn't know you were such big fans of hers. All men are crazy about her. We're trying to see who can get the most pictures of her. We saw her on Broadway once with Aunt Delroy. We were impressed. On the way home from New York, we bought a magazine with pictures of her. You like her too, right, Candy? Why, yes, of course. I have a ton more pictures of her in this box. I place it under my pillow so I can dream of her at night. I adore her in this role. She's amazing. God, I love her little mole. She looks so much like Terry. Her eyes, her lips. Anthony, he's so happy. His tender smile. I thought we left all his pictures in the States. Can I please keep this picture? Yeah, I mean, you don't have any pictures of him, do you? Anthony, soon it'll be May again, my birthday. Like when he gave me the rose he named Sweet Candy. It's 10 o'clock. I have to go. I stayed way too long here. I'll be back tomorrow to hang out. Don't look so sad, guys. Good night. She's the one who seems sad to me. That's just how she is. It's time to call it a night. Archie. I wonder if Candy will ever forget Anthony. I know we won't. How I envy him. I've been jealous of him this whole time. But after being with Annie, I've come to realize my feelings. I think I'm in love. In love with... Are you listening to me? Yup. Candy's not like other girls. I still remember us first meeting. She got deep into my heart so easily. She's so dynamic, so full of life. So happy. I must see her again tomorrow. It'll take me like four days to fix the ship again. Why didn't I just toss it when I had the chance? Before scribbling all over it. I had no right to approach after seeing it. I should have already destroyed it. I'm the one to blame for not having the courage to do so until today. Terry? Oh my, how you've grown. Don't just stand there, come in. You shouldn't have come. No one can know you're mine. Please understand. And don't forget I love you, Terry. Terry, you are a Grandchester. Promise you won't tell anyone I'm your mother. What did I come here for? What was I thinking? What for? Just to see her. What compelled me to see that woman? At least I got to see her. I knew this would happen. I didn't think you were coming back. So you really are the son of that no good American woman? Countess Grandchester. Your face is starting to resemble that of a pig. Pig face? How dare you? You'll never be an heir. Darling, I don't want that boy living here. Only our children have the right to bear your name. Father, Count Grantchester, you won't scold me? 
you won't even speak to me. I can't understand how that woman fell in love with you. And as for me, I love nothing. My rosary, my early medallion, and your photo. These are my three treasures. Objects full of memories. Moments to which I cannot return. If only we hadn't gone fox hunting. If the trap hadn't been there. It's a horse. I can hear it running. Anthony, don't do it. Don't ride that horse. Anthony, don't do it. Don't ride that horse. <gasps> Don't mount that house. Sister Margaret, wake up. Quickly now. It's very late. What's going on with you? Candy, I need the key to the infirmary right away. She fell down the stairs. Go ahead. I'll let Mother Superior know. Anthony. Anthony. She keeps saying that name. Terry brought her here. Terry, are you sure? Where did he go? Looks like he went out the window. She has only minor injuries. What were you doing up at three in the morning? I actually fell asleep at lights out, but then I began dreaming, I suppose. Dreaming of birds, were you? Um, no, uh, I was an angel flying across the sky. And so Terry found you after you fell down the stairs? Terry found me? Well, be more cautious. Especially when asleep. Can you walk to your room? I think so, sister. So Terry brought me to the infirmary. It wasn't Anthony, but Terry. I felt a hand wipe away my tears. Whose tender hand was on my cheek? Terry! What now, Miss Candy? N nothing. I'm, I'm feeling rather well. I'm, I'm fine. She had me worried. But Tarzan Freckles is no damsel. Anthony. She called his name out twice. Who could he be? Hey, Candy. Hey, Patty. It seems nobody knows about yesterday. Annie, what is she knitting? It's the first time I see her this way. You seem so uncomfortable around Eliza, but today you seem very happy. What are you making? I know, it's a hanky for Archie, right? I figure since his birthday is coming up... Archie? You mean Archibald Cornwell? Yeah, he's always with candy, you know. How could she, when she knows how Annie feels about him? Quite please. I've got news about the fest. The May Festival? When is it? Who's Flower Queen? Be quiet. You know the festivals are in May and in October. Candy, this'll be a fast fest. It's the only time we get to be free. You'll love it. Girls born in May will be flower queens this year. Marie, Annie, Julie, Catherine. May, I have two anniversaries in May. One with Annie, one with Anthony. Our birthdays are when they found us. The day we met will be your birthday. Hey Candy, did you hear that? They said your name. The queen's dresses are marvelous. How perfect that you were born in May. God, not her. Flower queens ride on the mobile and boys follow on foot, each with a bouquet for them. Everyone dresses their best for the ball at dawn, and we even get to choose our night. Our night? What am I thinking? Terry's not the type to go to a ball. And we can invite outside people, too. Really? I'll invite Albert and Uncle William. I would love to see Uncle William. Not only did he adopt me, he's given me so many opportunities. And now I can show him I've become a lady. Uncle William, my savior. I can never thank him enough. He's probably older than Aunt Elroy, perhaps with a beard and walking stick. And Mr. Albert will be there. I must act ladylike. I'll be his companion at the ball, after all. I cannot wait. I must send out the invites quickly. Dear God, may they both show up. Amen. I still have some free time before dinner. I'd like to see Terry and thank him for yesterday and let him know I would never reveal his secret to anyone. Candy, we need to talk. Later, I have to go now. To Archie's room? Nope, to a magical place you know nothing about. You're such a liar. How can an orphan even know she was born in May? You have no right to be Flower Queen. Want to see my birth certificate? It states I was born in May. It's like I said, she's always lying. You're just jealous because you don't get to be Flower Queens. If you want, I can ask for you to be Queens of Dead Flowers. Surely you'll look splendid. Well then, I'm glad we had this talk. Hooray for the festival. I can't stand 
Ha! Where is she going? She has to be hiding something. When I find out, I'll tell Mother Grey and she'll be expelled. Yes. Does that seem deep enough? For sure. It's huge. Good enough. No doubt. This is the only path to the stables. You'll pay for what you did, Terence. He's not at Fake Pony's Hill. He must be at the stables. Terry, when I first saw him, his eyes were so very sad. Anthony was so joyous and tender to me, so happy. Terry seems angry and depressed. I need to speak to you, Terry. I want to see you again. What is she doing? I'm sick of waiting for her to do something stupid as usual. Terry's riding jacket. He must be nearby. Eliza, what is she up to? I know she'll make a scene if she sees me and Terry together, so I must be careful. So, I'm not a good singer, but here it goes. La la la, please forgive me, I'm so sorry, I had no idea, la la la, I'm sorry. Freckles won't say a word to anybody, I promise, please believe me. Gorgeous she's tone deaf. La la, Tarzan, my freckles, baby, baby, la la la. Candy. What a moron. I've wasted my time on the crazy, stupid, not to mention, tone deaf idiot. Ah! Somebody help me, I'm dying, help! Watch where you're going, Eliza. Who's there? Stop talking and help me up. Are you always this rude to people who are helping you? Shut up and get me out of here. Say please. You're the school hoodlum. I don't want to touch your dirty hands. Okay then, you're sleeping here tonight. You must love the outdoors. Fine, take my hand. Up. Oh, boy, you're heavy. Glad to see you're safe at last. Your Majesty? I'm sure you're the one who dug the hole. That's how you thank me? You are sadly mistaken. You know that loser Neil? He dug it. That's impossible. Neil's not like you, a dirty hooligan liar. You're a character. Can anybody stand you? Terence, what a cretin. But I must admit, he's a nobleman with a castle near here. And there's no nobility in the States. If he insists, I'll let him dance with me at the ball. Can I come by your room later on, Candy? Of course, Patty. I also have to go to Steer and Archie's tonight. I'll show you my treasure. Tell me what it is, Patty. Well, I'll give you a hint. Since I grew up an only child, I had no one to speak to but the bads. After I enrolled here, I thought I'd die of loneliness. I could hardly make any true friends. My treasure gave me relief. You'll be the first to see it. It must have been very difficult for you to live here, Patty. I wonder what she's gonna show me. Patty, so shy and reserved. The first friend I've made since I got here. I should clean my room before she gets here. Candy, sorry about yesterday. Steer broke the messenger ship and needs about four days to fix it. I'll let you know when it's ready, Archie. Their lights are still on. So are Terry's. Archie will dance with Annie. I should introduce Steer to Patty. And as for me, Patricia O'Brien. Patty, what's going on? What did you do? I'm sorry, Mother. Please forgive me. Take that outside and dispose of it now. No. I was going to show you Hurley. I wanted you to meet my friend so badly. Oh, poor Patty. I had no idea she felt so lonesome. To the point of going against regulations. How brave. I thought you were a serious student, Patricia. As punishment, you will be locked in the attic overnight. But I can't leave Hurley. But Mother Grey, Hurley is timid and frightened, much like me. He won't survive. Do as I say and dispose of it. I'm sorry, Hurley. If only I hadn't dropped you in the hallway. Stay calm, Patty. Go back to your rooms, all of you. Right now. You're supposed to be in bed already. Mother, is it really necessary to dispose of Hurley? The rules are clear. No animals on school grounds. That filthy turtle has no place in a dorm room. Hurley may be a filthy animal to you, but he means the world to Patty. Can't you see that? Candy, no. Why don't you ask her why she even has a turtle in here? Always with the rules. No wonder we feel no compassion in the school. No warmth. Hush. That's quite enough. You don't know a thing about love. How can you love your fellow man if you don't love animals? And where exactly should we dispose of Hurley? He won't be able to find food or water. Should we just leave him to die? Hurley. The rules are the rules, and we must respect them. Now move it. Toss it out. You're nothing but a decrepit old hag. Oh. Um, Oops. Candy Ardley, I order you to the isolation cell, and I forbid you from attending the May Festival. You will join Patricia O'Brien in the attic, and you'll stay there until the festival is over. I'll miss the May Festival, but I invited Albert. 
Oh no! And what about Uncle William? He'll be so disappointed in me. Candy, apologize to Mother Grey. Would she even accept my apology? Am I even sorry? Should I? I didn't do anything wrong. God says we have to love animals too. Mother Grey? I don't want to hear another word. I have no intention to apologize, but I must admit it was rude of me to call you decrepit even though I meant it. Uh... You've crossed the line. Now go to the attic, both of you. Immediately. And not another word. One night for Patty. As for you, you won't come out until the festival is good and over. I have never seen Mother Grey so upset. What did you two do? It's all my fault. I'm the one who got Candy in trouble. Eh, hey, don't say that, Patty. I've always wanted to visit the infamous attic. Oh, Candy. <laughs> Patty, this is your cell. And Candy will be next door. Now hand me the turtle, Patty. Sister, please, no. Patty will take him to a safe place. Sister, please, let me handle this. I promise to take the turtle off school property. It won't cause any more problems. I beg you, sister. All right. I'm trusting you, Candy. Please get him out of here, though. Don't you worry. Mr. Albert will take care of you, Hurley. I'll hand you over on the day he comes to the May Festival. <gasps> but I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in here. I'm sure Albert will laugh it off when I get out. But not Uncle William. When he finds out his adoptive daughter is incarcerated, it'll break his heart. I have three days to go. What'll I do? Hurley, you're up. Hi. I get why Patty is so fond of you. I'm sure Patty spoke to you when she was sad. You don't say much, do you? I like you, Hurley. You're my pal. They're preparing for the festival. Hurley, are you female or male? Either way, let's dance. And one, two, three, one, two, three, let's waltz. Spin around, there you go. Ow! Oh no, I broke the window. Hurley, how about we get some air? It's May, all right. Inspection isn't till later tonight. I've got plenty of time. Candy! What's up with you, Annie? I thought I saw Candy running on the roof. That's impossible. She's locked in the attic. How could she be running on the roof? We have to practice our dancing. Louise, you've got someone to be your knight? I sure do. And you? I've got so many to choose from. And since Candy won't be there, Annie will have Archie all to herself. But if she were there, Archie, whom would you choose to dance with? Hey, you. Please, stop. Could you please take me to the zoo? Yes, but it'll cost you, dear. I know. I got it. I'll ask Mr. Albert to pay my fare. That stone you're holding seems very special to you. Oh, it is. Hurley's hiding his leg so he looks like a stone. A balloon vendor, street musicians, and a little boy with a huge lollipop. You're acting as if you're from the country, love. I just escaped from jail. Juvenile delinquents are becoming more prevalent, it seems. What bad luck. But she looks so kind. Could she be a criminal? Maybe she plans to hit me with that stone and rob me. Here we are, young lady. Thank you. I'll just be second. I have to fetch my friends. Friends? That's quite unnecessary. I'll be on my way free of charge. What a generous man. Don't you think, Hurley? Albert? He's on break. He should be in that shock. So that's where he's staying. The cages are nicer than his house. Mr. Albert? Mr. Albert? Come on in. It's me. I've escaped from boarding school. <gasps> Terry! You two know each other? Yes, we're classmates at St. Paul's. St. Paul's two delinquents have both escaped? Hilarious. Delinquents? Candy is mischievous and Terry likes to drink and fight. Then you're the one who helped Terry that night? Yes, I'd be way worse off without him that night. I'd be in the hospital. Except that you mistook the boys' dorm and instead took me to Candy's room. I did? To Candy's room? So that's why Candy ran out to get medicine. She and I went to the pharmacy together. I didn't know you were a fighter too. I'm pretty used to that kind of thing. So you're just as trouble a youth yourself. And I probably will be for the rest of my life. Me too. <laughs> Terry is smiling. He's smiling so tenderly. He's so different. So Candy, what brings you here today? Uh, yes. It's about Patty's turtle. Could you take it? Hurley is my best friend's friend. Yes, of course. No problem. I'll take good care of him. Thank you. Albert, break is over. Sorry. I have to get back to work. I'll leave you two here. Okay. I had so many things I wanted to say to him. Where do I begin? My heart is pounding. Candy. Let's go outside. Okay. There are lots of people out here. Families, lovers out on a picnic. I wonder how we appear to them. Like siblings? Or maybe a couple? He looks just like you. Even more so with that face you're making. Perry! How dare you! I'll kick your ass! <laughs> Where'd he go? I wasn't gonna hit him that hard. Here you go. I thought you left out of fear. No way. Perry's starting to trust me. 
I won't bring up Eleanor Baker to anyone. Say, why are you here? Well, I was in detention. How come? Okay, so yesterday? <laughs> it's not that funny. You called her decrepit. Not even I would have dared. Thus now I can't attend the fest. What? Really? You won't be able to attend. It must be ever so much fun. So many flowers, so much food, dancing. Totally. Not to mention cakes this big. It's a pity I can't go. I invited Uncle William and Albert. What's up with you and Albert? Ah, uh, we met in America. He saved me when I escaped from the stable. He's always been and gonna be there for me. He was there after Anthony. Anthony. Lakewood was amazing, and Anthony had a rose garden. It should be in bloom as we speak. Anthony. She also said his name the other day. Who is Anthony? When I first met you on the ship, I thought you were him, because you look so much alike. But you're very different. Anthony's very caring, and he loves roses. All right, fine. I'm not that type of person. Terry. Taking care of roses. He's a wimp like a girl. Terry! You're so rude. He's very strong. Anthony's a brave person. Oh, is that so? So how's Mr. Rose doing now? Has he abandoned you for his precious roses? Why the face? You know you're not his only rose. Anthony. Anthony fell off a horse. He died. Died. That means the night she fell down the stairs, she was thinking of him. Candy, you really like him. That's pathetic. You better pray he rests in peace. So rude. I won't forgive you this. Do you hear me, Terry? Always with that Anthony. He's dead and will never return. I won't forgive him for calling Anthony weak. Why did he say that? What's wrong, Candy? Did Terry leave? Yeah, what a loser. He's not that bad. He even came here today to thank me. He's a punk loser in my eyes. Did you two have a fight? Let Poppy cheer you up. So cute and fat, too. Poppy's a big girl now. So, did you receive my invite? To the May Festival? I'll definitely be there. I already asked a friend to lend me a suit. Well, you see, I can't go to the festival. Why not? I got in trouble because of Hurley. Well, there's no reason for me to go. Sorry. I thought he'd laugh it off, but he seems disappointed. Dear, the float is here, but I don't see Candy anywhere. Come to think of it, I haven't seen her in days. The music's starting. Go find Candy. Can do. Archie! Archie! Annie, you look marvelous. I have a gift for you. By the way, do you know where Candy is? She's locked up in the attic. What? Candy's in the attic, in detention. In the attic? I'm supposed to be on that float. Hey, Candy! Petty, if they catch you here, you'll be in trouble. But you're here because of me. Hurley is safe at the zoo now. How did you? I escaped through that window. He's safe. Thank you. Thank you. You got a letter and this big package. Please come to the ball since you can escape. Thank you, Patty. <gasps> it's from Uncle William. And a letter. Miss Candace White Arnley, Mr. William will not be able to attend due to his busy schedule, but he has asked me to send you these costumes. He is very happy that you have become a fine young lady. George. How fortunate that Uncle William can't attend. Uncle William sent me both Romeo and Juliet costumes, even the wigs. Maybe he's so old he can't even remember whether I'm a boy or a girl. I know, this could be fun. I could disguise. <laughs> I'll go as Romeo. Hey look, there's Terry. That's unexpected. He never came to the festival before. Where could she be? She wasn't in the attic. I bet you Candy loves this kind of thing. It seems she escaped again. Where is she? I'm getting restless. Candy, it seems that you've already captured my heart. Terry, will you dance with me? That's very kind, but I have two left feet. I must decline. I'm sorry, my lady. Hm, what bad luck. Even so, he called me a lady. The festival seems to be going well. I don't care for it, but it is tradition. Oh, pardon me, Mother. I've never seen him before. Whew, that was too close. This wig is big and may come off. But I had her fooled, and he's all alone in the corner. Why isn't she dancing with Archie? May I have this dance? Who the? What's wrong, Annie? Cheer up. 
Candy, it's you. Candy, I beg you, please don't take Archie from me. Don't worry, Annie. We're just friends. He prefers a lady like you. Just be yourself. Candy, hand in hand, always together. You haven't changed at all. Sorry. Who's that dancing with Annie? I have no idea. Archie, it's your turn. Huh? It's there. It's me. What? Shh. Uh... Uncle William sent me both Romeo and Juliet costumes. Uh, I'd rather dance with Juliet. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait for me. I'll change my outfit. She'd make a really cute Juliet. I'm sure I hid the Juliet costume somewhere over here. There it is. It's way more fun going to the dance like this. I don't think it'll interfere if I need to run away. Princess Juliet is ready for the show. Here I come. <laughs> I have to make up for time lost in detention. To the dance floor. <gasps> Lady Juliet is feisty today. Even little monkey looks good in a new set of clothes. Terry, you watched me changing my clothes? I just glanced. I wasn't looking. You saw me. Don't worry, I didn't see anything. That music, the same music from back then with Antony. May I have this dance? I remember it so clearly. The sun rays, the foliage. But here with me is Terry. That tender smile. What's the matter? This is the same music that Antony and I first danced to together. Terry, why did you suddenly stop? Show. You, you really are a delinquent. Nothing more than a dirty delinquent who forces himself upon girls. Me, a delinquent? What do you know about me? That was my first time. And you would have never kissed me so brutally. So how did Antony kiss you? Tell me, did he kiss you more gently than I did? He must have kissed you very tenderly. I'm not finished with you. How would you know what I think and feel? Anthony, always Anthony. He's already dead. Terry, stop. Why, you want him to rescue you? Go on. Call his name. Call for your Anthony. No matter what you do, that bastard isn't coming back. Anthony's dead. Enough, stop. Terry, stop. You're coming with me. I'll make you forget all about him. I'll get him out of your heart once and for all. Where are we going? Stop. Terry, please. Anthony! Ow! Terry! Let's go, giddy up. Climb aboard, Candy. Oh! He turned around and smiled at me. His smile, the sunny forest. Anthony, he ran and ran. Anthony, stop this horse, Terry! Shout and cry all you can. Let's see if Anthony comes back for you. Let's see if he can hear you. Swirling leaves, the scent of the forest. Just like that day, the day Anthony died. I beg you, stop it! Stop! Cool, Anthony. With all your might, dead men don't come back. Ever! Forget him. You must forget him. Open your eyes, Candy. Look around you. Look! The forest is so green. The month of May is here and now. Nature is in full oh, bloom. Anthony, sunbeams caress his smiling face. If I could touch you, hear your voice. He's just beyond my reach. Near me. It's Terry. Terry's warmth. His scent. You're bleeding. Julia's dress is torn up too. Terry, he's different from Terry a while ago. Did I hurt you? I don't regret being brutal. There she is. We've been looking all over for you. We were so worried. Where have you been? Annie. You were gone for so long, we thought you got caught. What happened to your costume? What about it? Is it that bad? It's all soiled and ripped. Also on your cheek. It's nothing. I'll just wipe it off. Uh oh, it's still there. So what happened, Juliet? Well, I got into a little, uh... You got into a fight? Uh, no. Who was it? Not that arrogant. This is where he hangs out. It was him. I'll kill that bastard. No, Archie. I tripped and fell. Let's go. The party's almost over. Come on. Annie's waiting for us. The ball is getting more joyous. More of the guests have arrived. Invited guests. If Albert were here, he would be so happy. Albert seemed disappointed. I'd love to see him all dressed up. 
May I have this dance? Okay. I'll be next, Candy. You have any, Archie. Juliet will dance with me. Who has no one? Juliet, here comes a new song. What? This is a military march. It's no fun changing partners so often. <laughs> She's all dirty and soiled. No one recognize me. It's so fun. <laughs> Rob's so funny. Annie's looking only at Archie. Steer's dancing with Daddy. Ouch! Pardon me. Oh no, it was me. I lost my glasses. So did I. You have bad eyesight too? Yes, I do. You look prettier without glasses. You look more handsome too. Then let's dance without them. Ow! Oh, we're so sorry. Get off the floor. You'll ruin the dance. My brother's always blundering. We look good together. What did you say? Nothing. You're a great dancer, Archie. I'd love to dance with you forever. Well, it's time to change partners. I'll miss you. Archie, Candy, how can they be so close? Archie, I was 12 when I first met him. I was playing the piano, having some trouble. Let me help you with the left hand. Archie's white blouse. I can't forget that day. I still remember. Hey, it's our turn to dance. Archie, you haven't changed one bit. Ouch. My bad. Excuse me again. She's pretty rough. <laughs> Sucker. Ooh, a rough Juliet. Terry. Please be gentle with me. This tie. What is this? After all that, come back for more? I'm so sorry. I had it coming. You're actually a very good dancer. I'm on it. You know, Terry only came to the ball to dance with me. Patty, steer. See you two later. Candy! Candy, it's time for supper. Just in time. This is the last night. Hang in there. Yes, sister. I placed your post-festival uniform in your room. Don't wear the wrong uniform. This dessert is a treat from me. I'm sorry for escaping the attic, sister. Terry, my first kiss. He's not a delinquent. I'm so bored since the festival's over. Back to the boring school routine. Oh, it's candy. How is sanitary? The festival was so much fun. It's a pity you missed it. Candy, you were so pretty in that Juliet costume. All thanks to Uncle William. It came in the package you delivered. <clears throat> the bell has already rung. Yes, yes sister. sister. The May Festival is now over. Settle down in your desks. As in previous years, summer school will be in Scotland. It's optional, so sign up ladies. <gasps> I can't go since I'll be in France. I'll be in Sweden all summer. Are you going to America, Eliza? Of course. What about you, Candy? Going back to the orphanage? Yeah, maybe. That'd be great. You can go anywhere, Candy. I'd love to go back. All the kids call me boss there. <laughs> oh, Candy. Stare so... so interesting. Yesterday, he told me all about his fantastic inventions. Well, I'm not so sure, but I respect his efforts. He told me yesterday he wishes to fly one day. Fly? <clears throat> his dream is to build an airplane and fly. Patty understands his dreams and will be a good partner. Let's visit Hurley at the zoo. Yeah, great. It would be great if Annie and Archie could join us. Should I ask Terry? Paris J. Grantchester. Huh? Still smoking cigs? I thought you were Sister Grey. I pinched my nose, so even Terry is scared of Sister Grey. You startled me. I wasn't scared. Hand them over. You want to smoke? Nope. Confiscating them. And here. A harmonica. It's my favorite charm. Play it when you get the urge to smoke. Smoking is bad, you know. So it's your favorite. <laughs> Can't wait to share your intimate items with me. <laughs> Terry? I'm just kidding, thanks. What a perv. What a beautiful day. On a day like this, we went on a picnic. I was three or four. I don't remember details, but it was so much fun. I clearly remember both my parents' smiling faces. I'm not sure where we were, but it was a happy moment. Eleanor Baker, she must be a wonderful mother. What a beautiful memory. It's my only good memory. At least you have one. I have none. Promise me we'll have a picnic someday. Candy. I have to go back to class. Remember, play the harmonica. Should I enter class playing the harmonica? I'm so happy that Terry is slowly opening up to me. He seems to hate his mother, but she's still his mom. Candy, 
Archie, what's the matter? How long have you two been seeing each other? That no good rich brat? Seeing one another? He saw us? Stay away from him. But why? He's a good person, Archie. He's using you. Why are you defending him? Because, well, you're never like this, Archie. I don't want him to take you away from me. I really hate him. To be honest, I've always... No! No, please stop it. Annie, why are you here? I just want to give you this gift. But no. Annie! Happy birthday, Archie. I need this with love. Annie. Candace White Ugly. Where is Annie Brighton? Louise, Eliza, go find her. The rest will settle down. Silence. Annie, please don't cry. Don't take Archie away from me, you prophet. Calm down, Annie. Oh, I always knew Archie was in love with you. Annie, Louise, Eliza, they're likely to be looking for us. We have to get back to class. We'll discuss this later. Don't touch me. You've always been this way. Ever since we were at Pony's home, you were everyone's favorite. Quiet, Annie. So you were at Pony's home too. In the same orphanage as Candy. <sighs> Surprising. Does Archie know? We were all fooled. Annie. Let her go. You knew and you never said anything. Covering for each other. Are all orphans that way? <sighs> Annie. Candy, I'm scared. Can I sleep in your bed? Candy, Jimmy's teasing me. Candy, Candy. I'll protect you no matter what. Annie Brighton is missing. Keep looking, sisters. Annie! Annie! Annie, where did you go in this rain? Annie! Don't touch me! You've always been this way! Ever since we were at Pony's home, you were everyone's favorite! That's not true. This Pony and Sister Lane love all of us equally. Candy, don't make Annie cry. Candy, take care of Annie. Where are you? Annie! Is that you, Annie? This campus is huge. Yeah. It's harder to see with glasses. Forgive me, Steer. This is all my fault. Don't say that. You'll collapse before finding her. I'd rather collapse and feel nothing. What I told Candy is no lie. I've always had feelings for her. But Annie has done so much for me. I need this with love. Love. Good thing it's raining. Let the rain wash everything away. Let it all go. Steer, you confessed your feelings. Feelings for candy that I also share. If only this rain could wash them away. Wash the feelings away. In this rain, candy. I was coming to get you, Archie. I found Annie. But no matter what I say, she won't stop crying. Archie, it has to be you. And only you. Where is she? She's hiding in a tiny cave. Please, only you can convince her. Don't worry, candy. Steer, take Candy back to the dorm and tell the sisters not to worry. I'll retrieve Annie. Wait, I'll go too. We must trust Archie now. You're right. You're soaking wet from head to toe. So are you. Patty said you were cuter without glasses. <laughs> now you tell me. Why? No reason. Time to go. Hang on, my shoes. Candy, I must remain this way. It's best if we stay this way. I wish I could just disappear. Why did I come to this place? Why did I try so hard to hide my past? It's all because of you, Archie. But it's all over now. <gasps> Annie. It's me, Annie. Please come out. Archie. I chose an awkward place. I can't squeeze in. Go away. I've been lying to you all this time. I'm not leaving here without you. Look, Annie, it makes no difference where you're from. Be strong. You must learn to ignore the bigots. Even after knowing my past. Is Archie waiting for me? How shameless, pretending to be a respectable bass. She fooled all of us. Hey, Candy. Hey, Patty. How is Annie? Eliza and Louise told the entire school. 
What happened to Annie? I saw her carried back to her dorm by Archie and Steer. Hey, Candy! Your little friend has a fever. I thought orphans were sturdy as stock. Stop calling her an orphan. She's a daughter of the Brighton House. What, and you're the daughter of the artist? You're both still orphans, adopted or not. <laughs> Candy. She's so scary. Watch out. Low-class orphans are so aggressive. Pay no mind to people like them. I'm on Annie's side, too. Patty, I'm on Annie's side, too. Candy, I was looking for you. Sister. Go visit Annie. She's waiting for you. For me? Annie's waiting for me? Archie. Candy. She's asleep, but she asked me to stay with her. Annie must feel very safe by your side. The sisters are giving me funny looks. I'll go see how she's doing. Okay. Archie. Annie is in your hands now. Yeah, I know. Take care of her. Annie seems to have her strength back. Candy, I had to see you. I had to. Annie, don't get up. Please forgive me for all I've said and done. I was a fool to hide my past. Archie scolded me for that. Archie. Archie told me to speak to him anytime I have a problem. We were worried about you because we all love you. Thanks, Candy. Again, please forgive me. I was so alone in a prison of lies. I love you, Candy. No more lies. My darling Annie, you haven't changed. She won't be coming back. Who won't be coming back? No one? You mean Candy? You know very well who I mean. Look at her from afar like I do. Don't get too close. It's better that way. The best way. You mean Candy? Who else? Candy. It's best this way. this at the zoo. It's tiny, it's so detailed. They're already selling dahlias. I'll buy you some at the zoo. It would have been great if he had come along. To the zoo? It's a chance to get to know each other. No, nah, it feels like I'm always at the zoo. I see a monkey every day at lunchtime. Monkey? You mean me, right? How am I like a monkey? When you're upset, you're more like a gorilla. Kick your butt next time. Mr. Albert! Holly! Holly! <laughs> Holly. I knew you'd come visit him. I'll introduce everyone. You must be Steer and Archie, and this must be Annie and Patty. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Candy speaks of you so often, it was not hard to guess. Mr. Albert. It's flying! It's flying! It's a success! Mr. Albert. Ow! Missed. I was aiming at your nose. Terry! Jerk, nice of you to come along. I changed my mind. I came to see other animals. Non-monkeys. That's it. I'll beat you to a pup. Oh, you know the sun could make you lose your head. A lady mustn't put her hands on others this way. Whatever, you started it. I have a place near a lake, good for cooling down. It's in Scotland and I spend summers there. Are you going back to America? I've yet to decide. Join me in Scotland. Huh? I don't care for the others. At your place? Candy! Join me in Scotland. Get it, orphans stick together. Patty, though, she must like to slum it. They're still talking about us. Who cares? Archie said I should just ignore them. Annie, you're slowly becoming empowered. I'm going to summer school. What about you? You going back to the USA? I'm not sure. Archie said great aunt may come. Aunt Elroy may come? What? When? Madam Audley, did you have a nice trip? I did, thank you. Aunt Elroy, on time no see! Eliza, you've become a lady, and Neil is nearly a man. Your visit is unexpected. I'll be spending the summer in our cottage. This is sudden. Why is she here? I have no idea. 
I think the Arleys have a cottage in Scotland. Ah, uh, summer vacation is ruined. Mother Grey, I brought them all. Archie, dear, how have you been? We're well. You? I brought many gifts for the two of you. You'll both love them. You must have brought something for Candy. Come, Candy. I did not ask to see Candy. Aunt. As expected, she's exactly the same as she was before. <laughs> Candy, a letter came for you. It's from George. Money. For Miss Candy, you may spend your summer with Madame Elroy at the cottage or enroll to summer school. It is up to you. Enjoy your vacation, George. There can be no fun with Aunt Elroy, so I'll enroll to summer school. Join me in Scotland. Terry's Castle is in Scotland, too. I think I'm going to enjoy summer very much. Look, classes will take place in that chapel. How lovely! It's magnificent! I'm so glad I came! It looks like a local festival. Bagpipes and kilts! My prince, his dress, and traditional instrument. I'm in his childhood homeland! I'm so happy we all get to share a room. I begged the sisters to make it happen. What a view of the lake! Archie and Steer are staying at the cottage. They'll meet us down by the lake, they said. Awesome, we should go on a boat ride. There are only two boats left. Neil and Eliza are already on the lake. We'll go together when I get back. Okay, I'll take a little walk in the meantime. Candy! All would be well if only Terry were here. That brat. I wonder where his castle is. I should have asked him. <laughs> Neil and Eliza, he can't row to save his life. Candy is waving at us. Hi, Candy. You're next. Patty, it's not safe to lean over like that. You may go overboard. I'm sorry. That would be bad since I can't swim. In that case, I'd rescue you. You should go with Candy next, Archie. Okay, then. I will. Run, Candy. Run! Whee! It goes on forever. It is so much bigger than Pony's Hill. Oh! I feel amazing. <laughs> What a beautiful castle, deserving of the term nobility. This must be it. Terry will be so surprised to see me here. It's oddly quiet, though. I hear arguing. <gasps> Don't ever come near me again. Get out of my sight. Terry. <gasps> it's Terry and Eleanor Baker. What brought her here? I'm always witness to things I shouldn't be. His gaze was so cold and broken, just like that day. But they're mother and son. What must he be going through, living apart and hiding their relation? Terry's sadness and anger. Terry! Hey, Candy! I'll come get you after this round. Wait for me. They don't have a shadow hanging over them like Terry. Terry? Terrence Granchester. I'm wanted to hear you exclaim my name in such a manner. I didn't know that you were always thinking of me when you are alone. Isn't that the cutest face you're making? Terry? He's completely different now. Normal Terry. By the way, don't assume the reason I was saying your name. I might have been putting a spell on you. A spell, you say? Could it have been to make me fall in love with you? Are you kidding me? You don't seem as annoyed today. I just give you a hard time to watch your face react. Terry, I was trying to control myself since we haven't seen each other in a while. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. Gotcha. 
I'm just kidding, Candy. Sorry. Come on, be gentle. Even though it's not obvious, I was waiting for you and I'm glad you're here. Well then, I forgive you. Your fists always precede your mouth. <clears throat> uh, is this your book? Yeah. William Shakespeare, he wrote many plays. He wrote Romeo and Juliet, right? You love the theater, don't you? No. Liar, you've underlined every passage. Are you still gonna deny it? I truly like it, which bugs me. In fact, it enchants me. Theater is magical. In real life, you are who you are. But in the theater, I can be anybody. A king for a day, a thief the next, and a lover yet another day. Or a devil pursuing a girl. <laughs> Just kidding, the devil only pursues beautiful girls. You are something. It's the first time I've ever seen him like this. So spirited, passionate. Terry, he's glowing. Eliza, don't stand so suddenly in the boat. But look at them. Look, Terry is flirting with Candy. Stop moving, we're gonna flip over. He's sitting really close to her. Ow, stop! Get this boat over there and let me off right now. Stop shaking me, you know I can't swim. Ah! Eliza, help me, help! Eliza. Steer, what do you think? She's not sinking yet, so uh, let's wait and see. Terry! Hold on to me, but be quiet. Oh, Terry! Terry! Terry saved her. Neil, get back to the shore now. Three men, and none of you know how to swim. For your information, I'm a better swimmer than you, and Eliza knows how to swim. You can swim. No, I nearly drowned, I swear. Bunch of jerks, what would you have done had I drowned? Thanks, Terry. You saved my life. Terry, would you like to dry off your clothes at my cottage? You're all wet. Yeah, Terry might catch a cold. I appreciate the offer, but since my home is nearby, I'll just go there and change. In that case, I'll come with you. Eliza. I'd much rather you didn't. Uh, I don't have maids to welcome you. Bye. Arrogant to the end. I'll go home then, to the cottage. You, you have to come with me as punishment for not saving me. Archie and Steer will carry me. Patty will bring my purse. Annie, you get my shoes. You're not invited. You make Aunt Elroy sick. And as a matter of fact, you make me sick too. Mm. Eliza, don't talk to her like that. You didn't do a thing to save me from drowning, and I'm telling Aunt Elroy. It's best we take her there as quickly as possible. Please come, Candy. I have to decline. I'll go nap in a tree instead. I'm sorry, Candy. We'll be back by dinner time. <gasps> Terry's book. If I return it, I can see him again. He left without saying a thing to me. But he was all wet, and he did say he doesn't have maids. Terry didn't say. I wonder what happened with his mom. Who told you to wait here for me? Don't you understand? I don't ever want to see you again! Terry! Terry, listen to me, please! Terry! You're nothing but a stranger to me. You've never been my mother. Son, you're not listening. I had no choice then. New York in winter, yet you were somehow colder. I have nothing but regret for coming to see you. Forgive the way I behaved. That's why I'm here now. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it. Shut your mouth! Get away from me! Go back to New York! That's enough! Enough lies, Terry! Tell the truth! Candy! You actually love your mom, you adore her! I understand what you're feeling, Terry, and why you react without thinking. I wish I had a mother to come visit me! I'm sorry! I came to return your book! I, I beg you two to reconcile! Candy! time ago. I recall having left a woman without expression. She had tears in her eyes which would fix upon me. Please don't take it away from me, my dearie! And that was my mother. You're not dressed yet. You have to change. Or we'll be late. Change for what? 
The day Eliza fell into the lake, I told you after we came back. The day you weren't feeling too well and went to bed early. I told you Eliza is throwing a white party at the Artley Cottage. After I came back from Terry's house. Yeah, I think I remember now. I have no reason to go. Also, I wasn't invited. Stia says you don't need an invite. You should come. It's true, you are an Artley after all. Don't worry, I have no interest in a party like that. Besides, I'd get my white dress dirty probably. Unlike you two, who look great in white. White parasol, white shoes, white dress, white tablecloths, white flowers. Not my thing. Don't worry about me. Go, have a blast. Don't get your clothes dirty. Candy! Why would Eliza throw this party? Will Aunt Elroy also be dressed up in white? <laughs> so weird. The forest is pretty dense. Lots of branches. I'll climb and see how white it is. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, what? Uh, I must be losing my touch. I guess this branch was too skinny. Candy. You startled me. So did you. I didn't know this forest had little monkeys. What are you doing? Aren't you going to the white party? Of course not. I wasn't invited. Then I won't go. For real? Don't make such a big deal, Candy. Want to come to my place? We've got ghosts. Really? I've always wanted to see ghosts. Strange, he should already be here. I'm sure he got my invitation. To think I organized this party just for Terry. Maybe he caught a cold. That's it. There'd be no other reason for him not to come. So you are scared of ghosts after all. No way. Candy, behind you. Oh my god! The best way to drive a girl into your arms. Quit messing with me. Looks like it's going to rain. It's a little chilly. Here, wear this. This is... She forgot and left it here. <gasps> so... Eleanor sends her warmest regards to you. They reconciled. Good for them. That night, we were also by the fire. We stayed up till dawn, not saying a word. But I felt so happy. She must have come all the way here just for me. Taking time out of her busy schedule. Without Candy's insight, none of this would have happened. I'd have sent her away for sure. It feels just like Christmas. Uh-huh. Christmas in the summer. <laughs> Burn, you fool. Come to New York and stay with me, Terry. America. Candy's homeland. For the time being, I prefer to stay here by Candy's side and watch time go by with her. The sun is out. I even hear birds. Are you sure you don't want to go to the white party? Yep. I was only going to see you. I want to show you something in the garage. What is it? Something four eyes would love. You mean steer? A plane! Is it real? It was my dad's passion when young. It's old, but it still functions. Can we please show it to Steer? He'd love it. He's not my cup of tea. You don't even know him. Steer is awesome. Pretty please. All right. I have to admit, I can't say no to you. Thank you. But you must first thank me with a kiss. Okay, but show your eyes. Here you go. <laughs> You tricked me. Now it's my turn to return the favor. Watch out, little monkeys bite, you know. I'm not a cheater like you. I do what I say I will. <laughs> I won't allow this. Terry is mine. 
I will not let this go unavenged. What's up, Candy? I thought you were an able climber. I'll be there in no time. <laughs> Candy! I didn't know monkeys could fall off trees. Here, take my hand. What's going on? This has never happened to me before. Even when wearing a skirt. Must be because I'm with Terry. I've never felt this way before. What's wrong? Your face is all red. Uh, nothing. Even Candy is a girl after all. Of course I am. What do you mean by after all? I was only a little shy. Ah, don't be mad. Check out the view. Gorgeous. It is. Watch how the lake sparkles. This place is magic. The sky, the lake, the hills. Amazing. Of course it is. All because we're together. Say what? Yet he may have a point. Everything comes alive when I'm with Terry. Back already? You both seem down. It didn't go well. Everything was going fine at first. But then Eliza started. What did she do to you? What did she say? All about my past. Eliza told Aunt Elroy that Annie was an orphan too. Ste and Archie could not stop her. It only got worse after their aunt left. Annie spilled some juice and Eliza tore into her. We were almost chased away, that's why we're back. I don't get why she was in such a bad mood. It's because Terry didn't show up. Terry? Terry? Didn't you see how she looked at him at the lake that day? Now that makes sense. I mean, I knew she liked him, but Eliza is in love with Terry? Either way, Terry'd never like a girl like her, right, Candy? How, how would I know? Patty seems stronger, less frail. Andy no longer cries when picked on. Everybody's growing up, changing. Will I? Will Eliza change? <laughs> Not likely. I must admit, Eliza has good taste in guys. Darling Terry, good morning, sleepyhead. I hope you're up by noon. We're coming over, Candy. We? No, I don't want to go or to ask anything of him. I'm not asking you to beg or anything, but it's a plane. No, I don't want to see him. Hurry up, Candy and them are waiting for us. Come on, hurry, or we'll leave without you. It's the first time Terry is spending time with my friends. Hopefully they'll get along. Hey Terry, we're all here. Terry, I'm moved by your invitation and I'm delighted to be here. I'd underestimated you. Nice to see you. To think you'd want to show me such a treasure. As soon as Candy told me, I was so happy I almost passed out. I'm glad you're happy, but it's not really a treasure to me. It's in here. Do as you please, I don't care. Good God. I must make her fly again. Give me a hand, Archie. Uh, okay. Yes, the engine turns over. Hand me the wrench, please. Better fix this over here, too. He's cool. I always thought Terry was scary. Deep down, he's kind. Step right up. The test flight will now commence. They must have fixed it. Look, it's as good as new. Ooh, ah. Want to help me pull it up the hill? Yeah, hang on. Terry, Terry, where are you? Quit reading and help us. He fixed it? Wow. I'll be amazed if it flies, but I think it will. And we'll eat lunch after that. We made you sandwiches. You're a mess, baby. There goes my new shirt. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Come on, people. Let's do this. Start that engine. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Go, keep pushing. Candy, what are you doing? Guiding you all. One, two. You can do so while pulling. Clever girl. <laughs> Here is perfect. Yes, this'll do. Thanks, everybody. Are you sure it'll fly? 
Of course I am. Watch and see what I can do. Please be careful. Steer. He did it. It's really flying. So what he can do is bounce, not fly a plane. Steer! Not to worry. It flew, even though it was brief. It sure did. I must not stare at her. But I'm not like Steer. I can't control how I feel. Archie, till the day you look at only me, I will wait for you. Candy. Dear Uncle William, thank you for this beautiful summer vacation. Archie and Steer have gotten tan, and my freckles are more pronounced. Tomorrow, we're going back to England to start school again, and my grades have been pretty good. I'm sure he won't reply. Dear Uncle William, even if it takes you 50 years, please answer my letter. If not just once, amen. Check it out. I bought this with my allowance. Isn't it pretty? I got this book. I bought cookies. We'll eat some later on. <laughs> <clears throat> Mother? Today's mass will be twice as long to make up for time lost during your vacation. I wonder if she's ever enjoyed a vacation. Back to boarding school and all its rules. Compared to sunny Scotland, school seems more ominous than before. How splendid, Louise. Yes, the ball will be unforgettable. You two should join me. Will the men be handsome? Shh, quiet down. Candy is not worthy of overhearing us speak. She'd have no business in a ball like this one. Who'd even want to be there? Not me. Nobility is a class above ordinary people, and it's such an honor to be asked to dance. Terry, a count. We'd make quite the pair. I wonder if one day I'll turn into one of them. Meet a nobleman, then get married. God, the horror. Pardon me. Are you alright? This gentleman, who could he be? He truly is a gentleman. I welcome thee, Count Grachester. Please, have a seat. I would like to speak with my son. How is he doing? He's well. Very well indeed. Here. I thank you for your donation. Mother Superior, Terry is in his room but not answering. Is that so? Don't bother yourselves. I'll go myself. Terence, come here. I need to speak to you. Terence. I received a letter from Eleanor Baker, asking me to return you to her. Are you still in contact with that miserable woman? That woman you speak of was a woman you once loved. That's in the past. You belong to a noble family, so start acting like a grand sister. What's so important about that name? To hell with that name. Terence, I must recommend that you not see that woman again. If you do, I will disown you. Father, that woman cares more about me than you ever will. She is so loving. No, I will never love like you do. Candy. Candy. Here I am, Patty. What are you doing here? Nada. You got a letter from Albert. It came today. It's been a while since the last one. See you at dinner time. Okay. I wonder how Albert is doing. Candy, I'm in Africa. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. I wanted to tell you I was leaving, but I didn't know how to. There are many beautiful wild animals here, not in cages, and the landscape is magnificent. I'm working at a small medical office among many foreigners and also try to spend time with animals. The locals are very kind people, and there's an American nurse here who looks just like you. Poppy follows her around. There are no goodbyes between us, as I know we'll meet again soon. Don't worry about Hurley. I left him with a good friend at the London Zoo. All my love, Albert. He took off as soon as I saw him again. I guess this is how he lives his life. Mr. Albert? I can't believe how far away he is. I wonder what that nurse is like. Nursing must be hard. I remember the kids at Pony's home were often ill. And too far from the city. 
Symptoms persist. We must cool him down. The doctor will arrive tomorrow morning. How great would it be if we had a nurse here? Miss Pony often said that. Becoming a nurse might be a good idea. <laughs> What's with Candy? She's been like this ever since we came back from vacation. Let's ask her during lunch. Yeah, okay. She's gone. She's always running that way at lunchtime. What if? I hear the harmonica. He's here. Excellent work, Terry. I give you an A for that. If it isn't little sister Gray. How dare you? You're so rude. Every time you see me, you accuse me of being rude to you. That's because you are. I got a letter from Mr. Albert. Here it is. For real? You won't be able to visit him at the zoo. He was a good guy. But I get it. His way of life, living day to day, not being shackled down to a place. I wonder what that nurse looks like. Like this. You mean she's got a tiny freckled nose and climbs trees? She's very brave to be working in a foreign land. That is true. I will never love how my father did. The way you look at me, I love being near you. Candy. Giddy up, Theodora. Let's go. Terry, wait. Mademoiselle, it is very dangerous to jump in front of a horse. Mary, I have a word of caution for you. How much do you know about her? Who? Candy! What about her? You should know she used to be my housemaid and excels at manipulating people. That's how she got adopted into the Ardley family. She's also a thief. She stole my jewels and then she denied it. And to this very day she steals from her classmates. And furthermore, she's violent. She beat up Neil. I must advise you not to date such a person, Terry. Thank you for your advice, Eliza. While on the subject, wouldn't you like to warn Candy about me? Tell her Terry is a booze-drinking, cigarette-smoking, fist-fighting, no-good delinquent punk. You should see your face in a mirror right now, you are hypocrisy incarnate. Terry! He defended Candy and humiliated me. How dare he? I'm here. What's going on? Why'd you ask to meet me here? Didn't you ask me to meet you? I got a note under my door. You said it was urgent. I received the same note. What is the meaning of this? Your actions disgrace our school's honorable name. Mother Gray! So the rumors were true. You two meet here every night. Eliza, it was you! This was a trap. How stupid can I be? Fooled by a note. The cell of detention. This is so creepy. Mother Gray, I didn't even get a chance to explain. Miss Audley, you are expelled. Your guardian will be contacted immediately. Terry! Candy! It all happened so quickly. Terry's voice. Terry, is he also locked in a cell? Terry! Can you hear me? Terry! I know Eliza sent us up, but no one is willing to listen. No one will believe you. You were alone together. There's no denying that. You'll be expelled for sure. I've been falsely accused. I must do something. I have to talk to Mother Gray. This is a horrible place. I bet a jail cell isn't half as bad as this. Cry won't solve anything, but I just can't help myself. They'll contact Uncle William. He'll be so disappointed in me. I let him down by being expelled. I'm so cold. Terry, what are you doing now? I hope you're not punished as severely. What happened to Candy? The light in her room is off. Mr. Grantchester, you'll stay in your room for a week. 
This type of behavior will not be tolerated again. We haven't done anything wrong. We've been set up. It is you who have created this scandal. Mother Grey! Mother! They likely punished her much more severely than me. She can explain. It was a trap. They won't listen to her. Damn it, I'm stuck in here. But if I go look for her now, she may end up in bigger trouble. So should I just stay here and do nothing? You son of a bitch! Why did you do that? Take that! This time you've really done that. Candy, what they do to her? They? You mean you? She's in a cell waiting expulsion. Expulsion? In a cell? Why did you lure her out to the stables? What for? Stop, there's no point in hitting him. Let go of me! To think Candy is expelled because of someone like you. If Uncle William disowns her, where will she go? Where could she go? She'll lose everything. Expelled. Disowned. Say something! Wasn't me. It wasn't me who lured her out. I received a note from Candy asking me to meet her at the stable. What note? Meet me at the stable tonight at 9. I have something important to tell you. Come alone. Candy. This handwriting... Looks like... <gasps> Liza. Obviously she tried to alter it, but it's definitely Eliza's writing. Good, let's go show this to Mother Grave right now. What good will that do? She'll just deny it. There's no way to prove it. She'll confess, or I'll make her. She'll never admit it. She'd rather die than confess. Why didn't I invent a lie detector? What can we do? You two need to be quiet or get out of my room. Get out? Aren't you even a little concerned about Candy? How can you be so calm? Calm? Please leave, both of you. Let's go. This is pointless. Terence? Candy has done nothing but suffer her whole life. She deserves some happiness. I think you'll agree. I didn't know she'd suffered. I'm such a fool. The candy I know is always smiling. Well dressed in her own suite, her pain was never evident. What have I accomplished in my life? I've disobeyed my father and squandered his money. I won't let anyone hurt her. I won't let her suffer. I'll protect her. I have a decision to make. Father, I'd never love someone the way you do. I don't want to love that way. Candy must be in here alone. I'll stay with her till morning. If I was a little older, I'd take Candy with me and we'd leave this place and never look back. We'd be together. <gasps> it's morning already? I must have slept. From the attic to the detention cell. <gasps> Even if I do get expelled, I'll have a story to tell. I've done things others wouldn't dare to do. Expulsion. Would Uncle William understand? Probably not. Maybe I wasn't made to be adopted. Maybe he'll disown me. My stomach is talking. It's used to all that good food. Mr. Albert would laugh if he saw me in this predicament, starving in a dungeon. I hope he's well. It'd be so great to talk to him right now. I've read his letter so many times I have it memorized. That's enough. I have to get it together. Terry, don't you worry. We'll take care of Eliza once I get out. I out of here. Mass was extra long this morning. I'm sure Sister Grey is furious at Candy and Terry. Meeting nightly, what do you think they were doing? It's Terry, and he's actually dressed properly. That's the first. I've never seen him like that. Eliza! Low life. Enter. Terence, you are forbidden from leaving your room. I need to speak with you, Mother Grey. It won't take long. I don't want to hear it. Return to your room immediately. You are on suspension. It is my first and last request. It will only take a minute. All right, I'll make an exception. What's on your mind? Speak up. Thank you, Mother Superior. I've never seen him so polite. 
What is he after? Sister Grey, is Candy being expelled? Yes, she is. If that's so, then why am I not? Why have I not been put in a cell? Tell me why. Well, that's because she, well... Admit it, Sister Grey. It's because of my father's donations to the school. I do not base my decisions on monetary factors, nor do I discriminate in favor of the rich. Then punish us both equally. Otherwise, Sister, please reinvestigate this incident. It was a setup. Someone wrote us both letters in order to lure us to meet in the stable. It doesn't matter if you were set up. The fact is that you were both there alone together. If you must expel someone, let it be me, not Candy. <gasps> Please, Sister Grey, expel me in her place and end this incident at that. And what shall I tell your father, the Count? You don't have to say a thing. I am no longer at Granchester. Fake Ponies Hill. Little Sister Grey, how rude. I'll give you an A for that. It's better this way for us both. It is unlikely I will return to this hill or see Candy here again. I should leave as soon as possible. Hey, we're trying to make a lie detector. Wanna help? What's with you all of a sudden? I only want to thank you for everything. Candy's situation should be cleared now. I sure hope so. You have the delicate hands of an inventor. How about joining me in some research? Maybe someday. We will meet again someday. Goodbye, Candy. Mother Grey, Miss Ardley is here. Candy, you will not be expelled. What? But you have to stay in your room and think about what you've done. You may go. But mother, I'd like to say something. I know it was wrong of us to meet at the stable, but it was only because both received the same note under the door. Go to your room. Yes, mother. But where is Terry? Those two, both their claims are consistent. They may be telling the truth. But now the incident has already escalated into a scandal. I cannot let them go unpunished for the sake of setting a precedent. Terry? Terry? Where are you? I've been so worried about you. Terry? Strange, it's too early for bedtime. Terry, Terry? <gasps> Please deliver to Candace White Audley. Darling Candy, I have decided to leave school and go to the United States. I have something very important to do. Wherever you may be, I'll always pray for your happiness. Terry. Wherever I may be, Terry, to the States. How can this be? How dare he tell me this way? Why, Terry, why? Candy, I will grant you a special pardon and you will not be expelled from this institution. Mother Grey, come to think of it, I really did get off too easily. I was in a detention cell to be expelled, and then... Granted a special pardon. Could it be? Did Terry do this for me? I'm glad he's gone and left this prep school. So he's going to America at dawn. He's a curious lad. He quit school for that girl who worked at your stable. America. Terry took my place. Hurry, please hurry! The ship leaves are gone. Don't go, Terry, please. Terry, please don't leave me. I don't want a part like this. It's too late. I missed him. Terry! I love you. I love you, Terry. I'll always pray for your happiness. I must be hearing things. I was on a ship the first time I met her, and this ship is taking me far away from her. Candy, please have a life free of suffering, a happy life. Maybe someday. Terry, what should I do? Oh, Terry, had I known this would have happened, I'd much rather be expelled. I have something very important to do. Terry and Albert are pursuing their own paths. What about me? Terry, I want to find my own path too. Sunset and ships on the shiny sea. Parting is an inevitability of life. But you will meet again, as long as you're alive. Meet again, if we're alive. Terry, we'll meet again someday, as long as we're alive.
Who's that? I'm sorry, I just wanted to say hello. You seem sad. Sad? You mean me? She says I seem sad. Ha <laughs> ha.